Okay, now we prepare the entire radiator box and mechanism and lid for spray. And this consists mostly of just protecting the uh, felt, the feet, uh, and a, a little bit of felt on the lid, and then protecting all the crystals from getting any spray. So to start, take the lid off this side. We will start with these little feet on the bottom, little felt feet. And I have little pieces of paper cut for them. So we just oof, the little curl of tape felt. So now when I spray it out, the felt will, for the most part, be protected. not going to spray the inside of the box. It's felt lined and there's no way to uh, actually spray it. There's also no need to spray the inside of the radiator box. It does not get dirty, it does not get handling in the same way that the other bits do. Okay. the feet covered. Now we turn back over. Address this bit of felt in here needs to be covered over. set the box aside. And then when it comes to spraying, I will brush it all down and get all the uh, little bits of dirt off of it right before spraying. Now then, the mechanism. We want to protect the inside from spray and all of the external spheres or uh, crystals. So let's see what we'll do here. Now I saved all the pieces from in here. So yeah we can do those. Okay. Yeah. This uh, I think 
bits of paper. that hole so none of the spray is going to affect the central sphere. Covering the crystals, as we also do with paper and tape. So we just basically wrap them close to the radiator mechanism. Okay, so I cover all ten.
Okay, that's the mechanism all done. Right? And I do that with each one of the radiators, and then hopefully we'll begin spraying them on. Hello again. Well, it's all done. I just shipped out the final radiator just a couple of hours ago. Um, since I was last with you um, in the prepping for spray video, a few days after that the weather cooperated and I was able to spray everything over a span of three days. Prerequisites for the weather are not too much wind. A temperature of about 12 degrees Celsius, mid 50s Fahrenheit, uh, and absolutely no rain. Sunlight is very helpful, but not absolutely necessary. So those three days were actually fairly windy, a little windier than I, I like to work with, which means I inhaled a lot of fumes, um, and made it impossible to really film any of the spraying because it was really going everywhere. I have to spray outside because this stuff is fairly toxic on our little balcony. Um, so everything got two coats of a semi-gloss spray lacquer. Now I like to work with either the semi-gloss or the semi-matte. I actually prefer the look of a semi-matte than a semi-gloss, but this semi-gloss is uh, goes on very easily, dries very rapidly, and is less smelly when it comes into the house. So after spraying, uh, the pieces had to cure. The lacquer has to really dry out so it's not at all tacky anymore. And that took about a week almost. And then I uh, disassembled all my preparation papers and put the three radiators in their bo mechanisms in their boxes already. And then I tuned them. Um, that took just about three hours, I suppose, to tune all three radiators together with the uh, original radiator um, helping out. It was really a very cool experience. Then, after a day or two, I started packing them up and shipping them off, and that's quite a process in itself. Uh, I have to construct a box, basically, for each radiator to be shipped in, making it very sturdy and because uh, these are going, uh, you know, halfway around the world, basically, these two. And um, that takes a full day, basically, to create the box and pack a radiator. A lot of bubble wrap, a lot of biodegradable styrofoam peanuts. Um, so, it's all done. It took seven months uh, of time. Um, some of that I was not working, but probably six solid months of six to eight hours a day, six days a week, to complete three radiators in a row. And that's a little bit less than it would have taken me to do each one of them individually. So this is the final moment in the Making a Radiator series. I hope you have gleaned something of interest from it and hopefully somebody will take up the making of radiators. Bye-bye.